This is my piano. Many of you take piano lessons, so I thought today we would take a look and see how this thing works. Why don't we open this baby up? Hmm? So the piano has 88 keys, and the lowest one's down here. And the highest one's over. <laughs> but did you ever wonder what happened when you hit a note? What's going on in there? Let's find out. First, we're going to open up the top part. Whoops, I store my DVD player up here. There we go. Let me get you get a little look-see here. Here we go. We're going in. What's in there? I see a lot of pegs, these silver, silver things. Hmm, we can't see very much. I feel like we need to open up more. Okay, take this part. Now it's very, very heavy, so don't do this at home. Your parents would be upset, and then I wouldn't be able to do any fun music lessons. Okay. All right. Getting a good look in there? So now you can see hammers. It's just a hammer. And it hits the strings back there. Can you see the strings? There we go. So I'm going to play a note here. Where am I playing that? Let's see. Oh, there it is. You can see the hammer. When I play it, look way down at the bottom of your screen. There's a little red thing down there. That's the first hammer. And it's hitting a second hammer up high. See that one up high? And that second one is what's hitting that string. Actually, it's hitting three strings, isn't it? So, almost all of the keys have three strings. Some of them don't. The, the bass notes are really fat. They've only got one string by the time you get down here. This is going to hit one deep one, but most of the others have three. So, this is called... So, this is called a double action because you hit the key which hits one hammer, then hits another hammer, then it hits the strings, okay? I feel like you need to see what's on the bottom part. Hang on. Okay, how about this? I went down even further and took that piece off. What's going on down there? <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. So, there's a giant piece of wood called a soundboard. Well, that's the back of the piano. The soundboard actually is the metal part in it up here. That thing. Okay, pretty neat. And the strings kind of crisscross. Those, those big heavy strings from the low bass notes, they're down here, crisscrossing all the way down to the bottom of the piano. They are so long. I wonder how long they are. And here's some of the treble strings. I can't strum them right now because you, in order to make a sound, you have to release the key. <laughs> Ooh, the, from here you can see the pedal action too. This is pretty neat. So some of you have used this pedal, which makes a note sustain. So if I play, there's a note, I'm gonna push the pedal down. Makes a note last a really long time. Hmm. Watch what happens up here. I'm gonna do the, the, key, the pedal on the left. Some people call it the soft pedal. Watch what happens. I wonder if you can see that to the hammers up here. Oops, sorry, I fell down. <laughs> okay, same note, regular. Now I'm gonna put the soft pedal down. Did you see that? Did you see all the hammers move? Isn't that interesting? Just from putting the pedal down. It's kind of dampening some of the strings, right? So it's not quite so loud. 
But I found when all three sing, strings to sound, I need to get my feet off of that pedal. Mmm. Okay, that little bowl of water, it's empty right now, but I'm supposed to fill that throughout the winter. That's my humidifier. If you don't keep your piano nice and moist, your wooden board can crack, and that's bad news. So I need to refill that guy. Ah. Okay, so last thing. Let's see how it sounds all opened up. Wow, I don't do this very often. This is a treat. I just tried it out and it is like so loud and awesome. This thing is a rock concert. So I think we need to play something fun. Okay. You can do your uh, Charlie Brown dance if you want. <laughs> 